Papas. Welcome back. You're with Jack the Greek again for another episode. You can see in front of us we have meat, meat, and more meat. What does that tell you? We're going to have a beautiful barbecue meat buffet. So, what have we got for today? We've got some beautiful loin chops. Beautiful. Look at them. We have some beautiful cutlets just here. We have a beautiful porterhouse steak as well. Some beautiful pork sausages. Some pork spare ribs straight from the belly. Some beautiful pork steaks, call them chops if you like. And over here, thanks to our friend Betty from Preston Free Range Poultry and Game, some beautiful souvlaki that we've made with the fillet. We have a beautiful quail, and we also have some drumettes and wingettes as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plate it up on one big tray with some beautiful corn and peppers as well. All cooked on the Crossway barbecue. Opa. And we're back now. While the sun is coming out on this beautiful day, we've got our crossroad barbecue, we've warmed it up, sitting on around 270 degrees. We are going to put all four burners on, hot, on low today. That's how we're going to cook all our meat. Because our meat is quite small, quite delicate, and we don't want to overcook it. And we want to try to plan to cook it all at the same time. The most critical thing now is we put our salt, pepper, and oregano. So let's just start with our pork. Again, we're going to keep it very basic. And Jack the Greek likes that. Because he's going to put a bit of pepper, put a bit of salt, just like that, on the pork, and we'll turn it over. And we're going to do the same with our with our chicken and also our lamb. Keep it very simple: salt, pepper, oregano. That's all you need, and a bit of lemon at the end. Opa, just like that. There we go. We we'll turn it over, just like that. Excellent. Okay, so we're just going to turn over our chicken now. We've marinated our lamb and our pork. We're just finishing off our chicken. And just to remind everyone, salt, pepper, and oregano. That's Jack the Greek way. Nice and simple, but beautiful and effective. Just finish it like that. There we go. And now we've got to play in this and time it in a way that actually allows us to cook it all at once. To remind everyone, we've got the crossroad barbecue on. We've got all four burners on low, and we're going to use the bottom grill and just rest our food on the top grill when it's ready. Okay, you're back with Jack the Greek now, and it's time to put our meat on the barbecue. We did say earlier, we want to try to keep it all cooking at the same time, so we can plate it up nice and evenly at the end. So what we're going to do is, we're going to probably start with our chicken, start with our corn, and then leave the lamb to last. So come over here, come on close. Oh, it's nice and hot. Beautiful. So we'll put our chicken skewers in first. Just like that. Uh -huh. Beautiful, listen to that sound. Just like that. We'll grab our, our wingettes as well. Our little drumettes. And a beautiful quail. We'll just put that at the front, just like that. We'll then grab our corn, just quickly. Break it up. Put it up the back. Quickly cut the other one up. Just peel it. Peel the, the leaf like that beautiful bang straight like that that can sit there as well so we'll put that away next let's look at our sausages in our pork that's probably going to take the second longest time to cook we'll put our sausages up the back just like that and we'll put our pork steaks just here Opa. Just like that. Now, we'll leave our pork spare ribs just there for a minute. And we'll put our beautiful steak just up here, half the back. Beautiful. And our loin chops. There we go. We're going to give this a go on the crossroad barbecue. We're going to cook all our chicken, our pork, and our lamb all at once. And we should be able to magically have it all ready at the same time. Just like that there. There goes that one. And finally, we'll just put our pork just amongst it all. Just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just like that. Excellent. Fantastic. Now, it shouldn't take us longer than four or five minutes to cook our meat. We are going to be turning it over two or three times just to make sure that we cook it all evenly. 
What most likely will happen if you want to come in close and have another look? Our cutlets, our drumettes, and our wingettes, and our little beautiful juicy pork belly ribs. We'll probably cook about a minute or two before our steak and our sausages. So what we're going to do is place it on the top grill to keep them warm. For now, we'll close the hood on our crossfire barbecue. We'll let it cook for about three minutes, and we'll come back and turn it all over. Opa. Okay, you're back with Jack the Greek. Come in close now, and you'll see that I haven't turned anything over. So it's been around three minutes. Come in close and let me show you how everything is just about ready to cook and ready to go and eat. Beautiful. There we go. There's our drumettes, our wingettes. We have our beautiful chicken kebabs. We're turning them over as well. Our quail. We have our beautiful pork belly. We have our pork steak. Look at that. All cooking away beautifully. It does depend on the timing of when you put your meat on the barbecue to make sure you get it like this so it's all ready at the same time. A beautiful steak up the back. Look at that. Opa. Look at that. Beautiful. Excellent. Our loin chops as well. Beautiful. Turn them over. Opa. Look at that. Excellent. We're going to have these on now for another three or four minutes. And then we'll be ready to plate up. Okay, we're going to set up our beautiful barbecue meat buffet on this beautiful tray here. Now, while we're doing that, we'll turn our crossroad barbecue off. We don't need everything on at the moment. We've got our lemon here, and we've also got our beautiful dips. So what we'll do is, is we'll put our beautiful dips like that. And over here, we have some jalapeno. And we're going to thank our friend Joel, the fabulous food company, provided these beautiful, beautiful sauces for us. We'll try that one. A habonero, a red one. That's a very spicy one. Let's try that one as well. Beautiful. And the next one, we'll give it a go. It's a traditional honey garlic barbecue sauce. Just in there. Beautiful. Just like that. And lucky last, a beautiful smoky barbecue sauce. Beautiful. So they're in there now. Now it's time to plate up and get ready for a beautiful lunch today. So, so what we're gonna do now is grab our steak first, now that we've got our beautiful tray ready, and let's have a bit of a look to see how that's going. Beautiful, look at that, excellent. I like to cook my steak like this, medium to well done, a little bit of pink on it. So there we go. So what we'll do is, is we'll put that just here, and we'll put our slices just like that. Beautiful, just there. Next, what are we going to grab? Let's grab our beautiful loin chops. We'll grab three loin chops and just put them here. Just like that. Loin chops. We've got our beautiful quail. We'll put it on this, just over there. A beautiful chop. A beautiful pork chops. Just here. Just like that. We've got to make sure there's room for everything. We've got a beautiful chicken just here. Babas. Just like that. We've got some beautiful pork belly strips just here. Just like that. Babas. Look at it. It's all building up. It's all building up. We have a couple of sausages just here in the back. Some nice pork sausages. Bus. Just there. At the front, we'll put our beautiful cutlets. Just like that. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful cutlets. Just this one here as well. What have we missed? Just put that there. We've got our drumettes. So we're just going to put to the side here. Look at that. We'll take them off. Our beautiful skewers. That's it. We can grab them with our fingers. And our beautiful wingettes. Just like that. Mix them up. Keep them all together. Beautiful. Look at that. Magic. Next, we have our beautiful corn that we're going to use. And what we'll do is, is we use our second little tray that we have here, put them underneath, 
Then we'll head down corn. Just like this. And our beautiful roasted peppers on the side. Beautiful, just like that. Just like that. So last but not least, we can't forget our beautiful limoni. We've just put on some fresh parsley on all our meat. And now here we go. Put the lemon on, just like that. Opas, beautiful. Just put that under there. What a platter we have. Some beautiful quails, chicken, skewers, some drumettes, wingettes, cutlets, steak. We have some loin chops. We also have some pork chops and some sausages. All cooked on the fabulous Crossroad Barbecue within around 10 minutes. What an idea, what an option for your family by Jack the Greek. Opas.